Alright, we're coming here again. This is um, the Suzuki vacuum operated fuel tap. Uh, the problem I've been having is um, when the bike's been, it's up a GT250 1973, when the bike's been left on the side stand, when I've come in there's been um, big, a lot of oil or gunk on the floor or at the end of the exhaust pipe it's dripping made made quite a mess <coughs> I was I couldn't make my mind up whether it was oil or it was petrol or it was a contaminated petrol or what it was um, but uh, I've come to the conclusion it's these this this vacuum operated fuel tap not really a great fan of these things but uh, there you go uh, if anybody is wondering how they work what happens is in you've got an on position, a reserve position and a prime position can you see them there? Yeah. you've got an on position reserve position and a prime position when the fuel is on in that position petrol goes down this big tube here comes out of this hole here goes into that hole into the um, fuel bowl at the bottom right now this is blanked off by this diaphragm this diaphragm only lets fuel through when the engine's running so to start it because if fuel can't get through when it's not running it can't start so what you have to do is to put the tap into the prime position and when the taps in the prime position fuel goes down the reserve hole which is this one bypasses this completely bypasses this shut off uh, diaphragm and comes out via the uh, fuel ball at the bottom so in the prime position fuel goes straight through now if you leave it in that position there's no off, it doesn't switch off so you can run it in that all the time if you like but when you come to stop it the fuel's on all the time then you've got the reserve position which when it's on reserve if the fuel drops below this level here when you're normally running and you put it on reserve then it, it, it'll take fuel that much lower from and go down that one right so when you're in the on position when the engine's not running the fuel can't get beyond that hole because it comes straight down that tube out of that hole and got to go into that one and the, on the, uh, the diaphragm plugs the hole and the way it works is you start it on on the, on the prime when the engine's running it sucks that diaphragm off there then you move the tap to run which is basically run and because it's uh, it, it's come off it lets fuel through all the time which is I mean, it's, it's a good idea there's no off position but it automatically switches off when the engine stops via this diaphragm that's the little rubber seal on the end uh, which goes into that hole and switches the, the fuel off I've, I've worked with diaphragms before and the way they work it can be a bit uh, of a mystery if you're not used to them you've got a little tiny seal on, on that hole there which got, it's got to line up with the hole in this diaphragm You've got to make sure that these diaphragms, there's no holes in them, not even a pinprick. If there's a pinprick in this hole, it won't work. It's got to be completely sealed. Right, now, I think the problem was with mine is that it wasn't switching off. And basically, the reason it wasn't switching off was there was no spring to push on there to keep that valve on the seat it was just there was nothing there 
Now, I've looked in the Haynes manual, it doesn't, doesn't mention a spring. I haven't got a parts book, but when I've looked, when every diaphragm I've seen before, I've, I've worked on uh, on LPG equipment and they have diaphragms in there, and they always have a spring that pushes the diaphragm in, so the vacuum's got to pull against the spring. Naturally, the cap, the there's a little hole in the, that's obviously to take a spring as well, as far as I'm concerned, and there's a little little pimple on there that that's always it to receive a spring. So as far as I'm concerned. There's a spring missing. So what I've done, I've made a spring. Made this little little spring here. What I've done, I've cut, had a piece of, had a spring in my box, which was that one. It was a longer one. I've cut it down, I guess, the length of it. I do have a couple of goes at it to get it working. So I've just cut it with the with the pliers until it starts to work. And it's ended up being like that. So what you do is Put that spring on there. Make sure that it goes. Let's get it in right position. Now, it's, it doesn't have to be. Fun, you can just see it's. It's just trying to hold it on. It's not. You don't want to be pushing it on because you, you've only got a, a partial vacuum to pull it off. So that's the diaphragm back into position. And if I put a tube on here to the back side of the uh, diaphragm, and this connected to the inlet manifold. Now, if I suck on this, if I just put my mouth on that, suck on it, I mean, it's nice and clean that. Never mind. If I suck on that, I can just hear it. I can hear it working. Can do it, but I'm sure it is working. But the way to take way to prove it is this is a petrol and, and oil mixed together. I use it as uh, for lubricating all sorts of things. Better than just oil, it mixed a bit half and half petrol and oil. So if you if you filled up the the tube up, in fact, first of all, if you blow down that oil, you shouldn't be able to blow down it. So if I blow can't blow down that. So that means that the fuel is actually switched off. Just make sure the thing's in that position. Yeah, it's in the on position. So that's in the on position, but I can't blow through it, so fuel can't get through. Now if I fill that up, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see a little bubble of fuel on top. If I suck, oops, go. Yeah. That's a bit, bit of a, oops, go again. Oh, uh -huh. what's that going? Right, I've got a little pimple of fuel on top, you can see it. If I suck on this pipe, that should drop straight away. That, that means when the vacuum's working, or the partial vacuum, it's opening that fuel to let the fuel go into the into the fuel bowl at the bottom. So if I suck on this now, you can see it disappear straight away. So that means that this diaphragm is now working. It's switched off because if I blow on that now, I can't I can't blow through it. But if I suck on this pipe, which is connected to here, it opens the diaphragm pulls back, opens that valve up inside, and lets the fuel through. Now the way it works is working on atmospheric pressure. You've got atmospheric pressure, which is 14.7 pounds per square inch. That's what at sea level. That's what normal the atmosphere is, right? And that's at both sides of that diaphragm. You've got 14.7 pounds per square inch. If you then at this side of that diaphragm, you, you suck, you, you, you create a depression or a partial vacuum. And you only have to do that by 
a, a, a one pound per square inch or whatever, as long as that's lower here than where it is here, that diaphragm will move this way because the air pressure at this side will push it away and that opens the, the valve up to let the fuel through. As soon as the engine stops, the partial vacuum drops, the valve will be pushed back onto its seat via that spring and cuts the fuel off. That's how these vacuum tap props operates. So I'm pretty confident that that's working. I'll just double check it again now. Right, we've got a bubble on top, which means that few, that pipe is full of petrol. And I suck on this. As soon as I suck on that, it's disappeared. Now all I've got to make sure is that when it's running, there's enough partial vacuum to open that valve. I'm pretty confident that's right. Okay, so that's how that works. I know there's filters missing off here, but I'm going to put some extra filters further down line because these filters were knackers and have to come off. Right, so another little job done. Right, this is the fuel tap in position and there's fuel in it and it's over the level of the on position. Right, so the fuel tap is on, there's fuel in it but there's no fuel coming out of these pipes here. There's, not, there's nothing coming out of there so the fuel is actually switched off by the vacuum. So if I suck on this pipe here, as soon as I suck on that pipe fuel comes out and switches the fuel off. As soon as I let it go it switches it on. So that means that vacuum mechanism is working. So all I've got to do is make sure that there's enough partial vacuum when it's running for it to operate. 